Water is an essential commodity to us all. However, nature does not share it out equally. In our country, Spain, the disparities are enormous. Despite the southeast region having some of the best cultivable lands, it has always suffered from water shortages, which are greatly accentuated in times of drought. The Tajo Segura water supply system constitutes the realization of an age-old dream to deliver water from the Segura Basin. The initial project was proposed in 1933 by the civil engineer Manuel Lorenzo Pardo. Work did not begin on the project until 1970, and in 1979, the first irrigation waters arrived in the southeast. The project's success was the result of consensus and of the combined effort of a great many people. And today, the water supply system constitutes an economic cornerstone for this region and for the country as a whole. The supply system connects the Tajo Basin with the Segura Basin. The water's journey begins in the large reservoirs of Entre Peñas and Buendía, whose capacity easily enables more than enough room for regulating the supply system's water flow. Entre Peñas and Buendía's combined capacity, 2,474 cubic hectometers. Average annual supply, 1,300 cubic hectometers. The Bolarque Reservoir, the point where the rivers Tajo and Guadiela meet, acts as a loading chamber for the tremendous force needed to propel the water along the supply system. This reversible station pumps the water to a height of 245 meters over a distance of 1,070 meters, where it arrives at the small Bujeda Reservoir. stored here until it is subsequently released to either generate peak time electricity or to supply the Rianzares Canal at the start of the Tajo Segura Aqueduct. travels through a series of tunnels and aqueducts, some of which are incredibly long, and recuperates the energy put into pumping during its descent to the Alarcón Reservoir, where it meets with the waters of the Júcar. After the Vial Gordo Rapids, the water supply travels the Jucar Segura Divide via the 32 kilometer long Talave Tunnel. It still has 97 kilometers left to cover, not to mention three rapids, which take the water through a height difference in excess of 150 meters to eventually flow into the Talave Reservoir on the River Mundo, the main tributary of the Segura River. From here it starts upon what is known as the Post Gak. Here the water descends through the natural course of the River Mundo until arriving in the Camarillas Reservoir. From here, it begins to provide water for irrigation. The Ojos Dam performs two functions. It stores the water that feeds the two main canals of the post duct and increases the water flow to feed the left-hand canal, 
which provides water for irrigation in the Levant. This canal covers the geographical depression in Matanza via a very high aqueduct. This leads to a tunnel passing through the Sierra de Orihuela and flows into a subterranean duct to cover the Segura depression. Shortly, the water arrives in the Pedrera Reservoir, which acts as a large regulatory deposit. This is actually a natural hollow which has been closed off by dike walls made up of compacted materials. The canals lead off from here to irrigate the fields of Cartagena. The Ojo station, the largest single pumping station in Europe, feeds the right-hand canal. It is built into the rock bed and is capable of pumping 24 cubic meters of water per second to a height of 150 meters. After passing through a series of tunnels and aqueducts, the water runs into the Mayes Reservoir, from which it is extracted to irrigate the Guadalentin Valley. Water's final destination is the Almonzora Valley in the province of Almeria. To summarize, 315 kilometers of canal and 600 cubic hectometers a year of water to supply both the drinking water mains and irrigation networks. The system's water supplies 2 million people in Murcia and Alicante with drinking water and irrigate throughout 55 municipalities in Alicante, Murcia, and Almeria. The lands of the southeast have different geographical and climatic characteristics. The high and medium altitude lands produce stone cord fruits and eating grapes. The low to medium altitude lands are rich in citrus fruit. And on the coastal strip, greenhouse crops and plastic sheet agriculture predominate. Spain, irrigation tradition and deep-rooted knowledge of the land have facilitated the rapid adaptation of traditional agriculture to high-yield and high-quality modern agricultural methods. The Central Irrigation Syndicate of the Tajo Segura Aqueduct joins together more than 40,000 users of this water supply system. This highly valued commodity is distributed with great care by the irrigation communities using automatic sluice gates and ultrasonic automatic meters. Modern developments have seen the installation of drip irrigation systems, hydroponics, greenhouses, and automated demand controlled irrigation systems. All of these contribute to water savings and rationalization, bringing with them incalculable social and economic benefits. and marketing mechanisms, which have given rise to rapid market entry of produce, together with reduced prices, are a major contribution to the region's most important industry.
The continued and continuous improvement of quality and yields depends on water from the Segura Basin. Solidarity in water, just the right amount to bring life to these lands. Segura water supply is the first step towards correcting the stark imbalances in water distribution suffered by numerous communities worldwide. Our thanks go to those people who have contributed to making this major work of engineering a reality and to those who continue caring for its upkeep and administration. Thank you.